We're going back to Sam's story in a moment, but last time we had Ellen Allen on the program, she was challenged on our website by the Australian skeptics. They wrote, this is plainly nonsense. You cannot diagnose illness or bodily functions in this manner. Clearly a deluded fantasy. Australian skeptics offer Ellen Allen or anyone else who claims such powers $100,000 if they can prove their claims in a properly conducted, independently umpired test. Your chance to respond to that, Ellen. I am not out to prove to anybody uh, what can or can't be done. The Australian skeptics have a reputation for having won every so-called set-up challenge that they've offered, so I'm not going to go there. Uh, kinesiology and much of the scientific journals have published results about blockages, energy testing, um, different ways that other cultures deal with their medical problems. I suggest that they would do some research. <laughs> Fair enough challenge though, Ted. Well, I think we need valid research and $100,000 probably isn't enough to fund the sort of research <laughs> that we need. And so research funding is a major problem when looking at uh, alternative therapies. A fair enough challenge, Angie? I think it's a tough challenge. It um, may or may not be fair. I don't know that it, it would substantiate one way or another. I agree with Ted that, you know, a lot more research is needed in all therapies and frankly the more we find out about the the brain and the body the less we seem to know about it and those linkages psychophysiologically skeptical or otherwise leave your comments on our website after the show abc.net.au second opinion